This week, we explore one of the biggest farmer's markets on Oahu, where we eat some local delicacies. Mm. We then snorkel at the most underrated spot on the island, which the views blew us away. A quick road trip on the most scenic route to a small beach cove. Stick around to the end because I've heard that there's a secret path next to Makapu'u. That will be Pele's chair with another local secluded beach. We're Denny and Nikki and we sold most of what we had and moved from Florida to Hawaii. We are exploring everything Hawaii has to offer in the weekends. Follow our journey wherever we are which right now will be in Hawaii. Subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up. We are now at the KCC Farmer's Market, which is one of the bigger, if not the biggest one here on the island. Let's check it out. Guys, so we're starting off like we do every other morning with coffee. And today we got some very fancy, very premium style coffee from the big island. So let's try it out. Mm. Smooth. All right, so now since we're caffeinated, we're gonna go try to find some food. Yeah. I'll make it I'm walking in the cactus garden which I think is the coolest thing here about this farmer's market. I don't know, the farmer's market's pretty cool. You can get different types of coffee, flowers, yeah. fruits. Yeah. They have huge uh, avocados. avocados here. I do think the Kailua farmer's market is a bit more lively, but maybe uh, not all the vendors are here because of COVID, which is possible. So we bought coconut mochi, which we think mochi is like a rice, flour, dough, ball. Mm, it's like a... Donut? Yeah. Yeah? The coconutty? Mm. Yes, but not not too much coconut. Like coconut. just a hint. So it's pretty good. Mm. My first thought was oli bowl, but it's dense. I have to tell the viewers what an oli bowl is. Oh, oli bowl is a Dutch fried dough ball that we eat for New Year's. It's kind of like sticking to your teeth. It's all right. <laughs> so we are right next to Diamond Head, which is teasing us. We've been living here for, I think, almost five months and we still have not seen Diamond Head or Hanama Bay. So now we're going to go down to the southeast uh, coastline of Oahu and stick around to the end because I've heard that there's a secret path next to Makapu'u that takes you out to Pele's chair. And we're going to see if we can find it. <laughs> I'm sure we can. <laughs> it's not ooh, a Hawaii destination or a site unless you have to climb, crawl. Ooh, this is really nice. The water is so clear. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so jealous of everyone in the water right now. <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah, I'm totally going to fly my drone here.
And that's it for the epic drone shots. Apparently this is one of the younger parts of the island. We can't forget that the Hawaiian islands are here because of volcanoes and lava rock. And you clearly see that here as you walk. And you see the layers and it's, it's really cool. But the coolest part is how clear that water is. And I think we're gonna snorkel. <laughs> We move on to our next not-so-secret location, driving the most scenic road on Oahu. We are driving between huge rock formations, while the deep blue ocean is right next to us. At night, it's even more magical, because the only light pollution is from passing cars. That sign is a common theme here in Hawaii, but you just ignore it, you just go. The small beach is wrapped with black rock, which makes this beach feel raw and rugged. This beautiful small beach has not been left unnoticed. Many film scenes have taken place at this beach. Close by is the Halona Blowhole Lookout, where big waves rush into the molten lava tubes, spouting out the water. A quick stop in Waimanalo to get the best lunch on the island, poke. What we like about living in Hawaii is that you can just have casually a lunch, and the beach is like, what, 10 meters away? How can you not love it? Heading out to Pele's chair. It's really you just take the same entrance as you would for Makapu'u. Yeah. Uh, except instead of going up to see the, the lighthouse, you're gonna make a right at the entrance. Again, beautiful diamond head views. I feel like this has been a diamond head start and a diamond head end of our day. Is, is that a diamond head or is that Coco Crater? Oh. <laughs> Coco Crater. Never mind, they look the same. <laughs> no, no they don't. <laughs> Pele, goddess of fire and volcanoes. She created the Hawaiian Islands with her fire and volcanic powers. It is believed that she sat on this chair when she was done with Oahu, before continuing on to the next island. This is what's known as Allen Davis Beach. Um, kind of a little local gym, uh, but you can come here and nice clear waters to swim in and you got a nice view of Pele's chair yep um so we en we enjoy it we're gonna hang out here at this beach uh if you want to try something that's a little bit more uh popular you can check out our makapu'u hike see you over there <laughs>